right. Let's see. Give everyone a chance to log on. Right, I'm gonna get everyone a chance to log on. I'm logging in from my page today. Give people a chance to log on. Hello everyone, this is Midday with Tara. I'm having some technical difficulties with my periscope, so give me a second. I'm trying to get sure, get, uh, get everything running up. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to lock back on, so. And I'll give people every, a chance. I'm, I remember I'm coming off of my new page today, so I'm trying to get everyone to switch over. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I hope that is up there. Oh, my connection says poor for Twitter. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go on live on Twitter today. My connection is not very strong oh wow okay well let me go ahead and get started because i don't want to miss out <clears throat> hopefully you guys will log on in just a minute if not i'll share it on my other page this is midday with tara your transformational life strategy coach that's not long enough I am here helping you pass your roadblocks, to get past those roadblocks in life. I um, just want to give you some um, updates on some events that's coming up um, in this month. February, we have a date night. We can only take 12, client, 12 customers. We will um, be at the Pink Lady. It's a bed and breakfast here in Augusta. Go on my website, Tar T. Stallings, Inc., and register. We can only take 12 clients, 12 couples, sorry. Um, we're going to have lots of food, great food, good fun. We're going to have great conversation. We're going to be talking about um, relationships, marriage. It's going to give you some tips on how to have a, a better marriage. If you have a good marriage, you, you, this will teach you to have a better marriage. If you have a, 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 a good, better marriage, to have a good marriage. We're going to talk about mission, the purpose of marriage and understanding the mission and having a model for your marriage so you know have something to to drive you to uh, you have something to hold on to when those storms come when uh things become unbalanced in your marriage you have a mission and a purpose and a model that you live by so if you couple if you're married if you're engaged this is february we're gonna have a lot of people yeah a lot of people get engaged this month. It's the love, the February, Black history, but you know what? People get engaged. So this will be the event for you. We're offering a uh, stay over at the bed and breakfast, if you would like. It's a stay over. 
So I want to go ahead and get started. Today we are talking about love and relationships. It's February. I told you guys we're going to be talking about love and relationships. And I am actually coming from my book, Ladies, Let's Talk, Life, Lies, Love, and Relationships. I wrote this book. I just revised it. And we're going to be talking about it. I, you know... I, I would say I'm an expert. I do couple counseling, couples um, coaching, and I have a 95% success rate. I've been doing this about 10 years, and I have a 95% success rate. And the only reason I, I would say that I'm an expert is because, oh, I thought my phone was off. Sorry. Um, Sorry. I would say that I'm an expert is because a lot of these things I've lived out um, I made a lot of mistakes within my relationship, within my marriage, and I had to grow personally. So with doing that, it taught me a lot. So I learned how to implement things in my relationships. And that's not just intimate relationships, but, but relationships with other people, with my children, with my friends, um, with my family, so that... Um, I would get a better understanding on how to interact within that relationship and make that relationship healthy. Make that a healthy, good, solid relationship. So today we're going to talk about lovers and leeches. Yes, loves are. How do you know if you are a lover or a leech? So I want to just give you a little bit of background. And I'm coming from my book under uh, lovers, <laughs> you know, life, life and love, love and relationships, rather love and relationships. And it talks about understanding, you know, who you are, what you are, and being able to love yourself. See, we have to understand you cannot love anyone else until you properly love yourself. Yeah. And most of us, we don't love ourselves. You know, we say, oh, I love myself. But what does that mean? Because when you love yourself, you can really, you're able to identify certain things within your life and within the lives of others. You're not looking for someone else to be, to make you whole because you're already whole. You being, you become what you want someone else to be. You are, you be what you want someone else to be in your life. You're not looking for someone to give you something. You're looking to give out something, to give of yourself. Cause that's what love is. Love is an action. You know, we hear the word love. Love is a verb. It does something. It's not just there. It's just not a name. Love does something. So with that, we have to understand that we have to be able to love ourselves. When we love ourselves, not loving out. I mean, when I say really love ourselves, but above anyone else, that means you love yourself better. You love your mom, your dad, your children, your husband. You're supposed to love them, but you need to love yourself properly before you can love anyone else properly. Because what happens is when you don't love yourself, you lose your self-respect, you lose your self-identity, you lose self-esteem. And in consequence, what happens is you if, if, if your life starts revolving around other people and not yourself, and that's unhealthy. And I share in my book about, and then when you're unhealthy, you make unstable decisions. When you're unhealthy, unhealthy, because when you're unhealthy, what it what happens when you when your body is unhealthy, it's unbalanced. It's not working in perfection. It's not functioning the way it's supposed to. It's off balance. So when you're unhealthy, you become unbalanced. So every decision that you make, it becomes becomes unstable. And when you become unstable, it can cause you to become an enabler. And enabler. So what we start doing, we start enabling the people that we love. We start covering up their wrongs. We start um, making excuses for them not st 
uh, uh, for them not coming up, standing up to the plate, for them not uh, making a standard for themselves, for them not um, being rising up to the occasion. We start making excuses for them. We become enablers. And we start camouflaging uh, for them. We start camouflaging. We try to camouflage their excuses. We, oh, well, you know, they just this way. No, 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 no. Because love, when we understand what love is, love corrects wrong. It doesn't hide it. It doesn't enable it. But it corrects you when you're wrong. That's what real love does. Because love wants the best from you. And it wants you to be the best that you can do. So let's talk about, let's talk about if you, how do you know if you are a lover or a legion? I'm going to read this because, you know, I wrote this. And when I wrote it, I never forget um, when I was writing this book and I wrote this, this chapter, this section on lovers and leeches, you know, somebody's like, oh, you just kind of bam that out. No, I didn't. I didn't just bam it out. What I did was this. I lived it out. I lived out if I was really being a lover or a leech or if the person or the people in my life, if they were lovers or they were leeches. Now, and I'm going to tell you the difference. And I'm not just talking about intimate relationships. I'm talking about all relationships. Because when we talk about love and relationships, the first thing we think about is uh, intimate relationships. I'm, no, I'm talking about your relationships with your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your friend, your coworkers. What type of relate are, are these people lovers or leeches? Are you a lover or are you a leech? Now I'm going to read through because I, I and I want to take my time even though I don't have that long. But I want to make sure you get this when we talk about if how to identify if you're a lover. Lovers are people who see all your potentials and strength. They help thrust you into the right direction ensuring your potential is being used to its full capacity. Lovers are good listeners. They listen to your passions and desires of your heart, those good and pure compassions, not those, you know, X-rated stuff, not that stuff, that foolishness. Um, they help strategize and to help you see your passions, they help you, they help you strategize so you can see your passions and your desires. Um, they help you build your dreams. Lovers help you build your dreams. Lovers always, listen to me, rejoice at every milestone that you cross, encouraging you to strive for the next one. That's majors. They all they encourage you at every milestone. Lovers are never enablers. They don't make excuses for your shortcomings. Now, we all have, and when I use that word shortcomings, we all have strength and we have weaknesses. But a lover does not make excuses for your bad behavior. They do not make excuses for your bad behavior or your lazy efforts. You know how we have do some things. Lovers allow you to feel sorrow in your life, mishaps, because, you know, things happen. But they don't throw you a pity party. You know how you have those, we, we, we have those friends that, oh, they throw you that pity party and you in that pity party, but then it's not just a pity party. They invite guests. They call people to have pity to, to come with you in that party. <laughs> those are not lovers. Lovers help you see your wrong. They help you correct your wrong. And they, they help you design a plan to build from those wrongs turning your wrongs into rights. Lovers act in response to your needs out of love and not for recognition. Cause see, we have people in our life, they do things because they wanna be recognized. They want you to acknowledge what they did. That's not a lover. Lovers are always there to help you. Good, bad, or indifferent. They never harm you in any form. They are not there to take away. They are there to increase you. Lovers don't manipulate you. People that love you, they, are, they always add to your life. 
They never subtract. They don't manipulate you into loving them and manipulate you into conforming to the things that they want. Because what their purpose is, the purpose of a lover is this, to add to your life. Now, that's what all things being equal. They add to your life. They don't subtract. They're there to help you be the best person that you can be. Leeches, on the other hand, now we're going to talk about these leeches. And, and to be honest, just let's go keep it real. We've all been lovers, hopefully, but all of us have been leeches sometimes also. We all have been a leech in somebody's life. We all have been a leech in somebody's life. So leeches, on the hand, other hand, they see your potentials. And now you may not be that leech in every capacity that I'm talking about now, but listen to this, because we want to know, are you a lover or are you a leech? Leeches, on the other hand, they see your potentials and strength, and then they find ways to deter you from reaching the, those um, potentials and strengths. Strength, and that could be purposely or non-purposely. I'm going to say that again. They see your potentials and they see your strengths and they find ways to, to deter you from reaching them. Purposely, non-purposely, intentionally or non-intentionally. Leeches, leeches hear what you have to say, but they really don't listen. The main, mainly because they're more concerned of their own needs being fulfilled than yours. Uh, yeah, let me go that slow. Are you a lover or a leech? Leeches, they hear you, but they're not listening because they're not really concerned about what you have going on. They're worried about whatever they need being fulfilled. Leeches have what I call the me mentality. Everything is always about me. Me, 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 me. What you going to do for me? What you going to do for me? But what about me? What am I going to get out of it? That's, what, that's, what, that, that's the mentality that a leech has. Leeches may have dreams. Well, we all have dreams. But what happens is this. They lack the motivation and the ability to self-sacrifice. Because, see, when you have dreams, you have to self-sacrifice. That, that's needed to see them to come to fruition while at the same time speaking negatively toward your dreams so they have dreams but they speak but they don't have they're not willing to sacrifice anything to see their dreams their purpose their plan to come to pass because they don't want to give up anything they want it that uh burger king i want it my way they don't want to have to struggle they don't want to have to be uncomfortable but because you decide that you're going to reach out and stretch out and be uncomfortable and live out your dreams, they look down on you. They say negative things. Why you want to do that? That doesn't make sense. You're not going to make it. Nobody's, you know what? Y'all know those people that I'm talking about. I'm talking about those leeches. Are you a lover or are you a leech? Yeah. Have you been a lover? Have you been a leech? Leeches are okay with you reap. They are they are okay with reaping the benefits of your accomplishments. Now they when you make it, they good. Hey, whoa, that's my girl. That's my dog. You know, that's my boy. They're okay with you reaching it because as long as you look out for me. But inwardly, they're jealous because what happens is when you don't want to self sacrifice your dreams and you see somebody else work hard for their dreams you always question yourself man that could have been me why that's not me so they become jealous of you because you're living out your dream while reaping the benefits they get they they they're they're gleaming off your feet they're gleaming off your hard work while being jealous with you leeches always make excuses for their wrongs it's never their fault it's never their fault they never take full responsibility for anything that they do. They always blame it on somebody else. Leeches throw themselves a pity party and they always invite people. 
They're always, it's always woe is me. I can't never do anything right. Nobody ever likes me. I just can't do this. People just don't, everything always messes up when I get rid of you. They never get anything right for me. So they always give themselves a pity party and they always looking for somebody to invite to, to, to check them off on their, on their complaints on, and, and their negative and their woe is me moments. Leeches do the right things with the wrong motives. I'm gonna sit there for a second. Leeches do the right thing, but they have the wrong motives. Leeches respond to your needs, not because they love you, but because they want you to recognize what I did for you. You remember when you were down and out and I came through for you? You remember when your car broke down and I let you use my car? You remember when you were short some money and I gave you that money? I ain't asked you for it back till later on. You remember, man, you remember I was there for you. You remember that. You remember we always been down. You remember I had your back when so-and-so was talking. You know those type of people. They, I need for you to recognize I was there for you when nobody else was there. If you are a lover, you don't, you, that's not something that you're concerned about. But leeches want to know, hey, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you are. They need to be recognized in every step of your life. Not in their life, but they need to be recognized in every step of your life. Leeches show love when the conditions meet their criteria. Because, see, I want you to understand this. It's a difference in telling somebody that they love you, that they, that they love you, and showing. Because, remember, love is an action. It does something. Leeches want to be all down and want to be, when, it, when the condition, when it meets something that's going to meet their criteria, when it's going to meet their need. That's what leeches do. Leeches use methods to, to manipulate you for their own gratification. Man, come on, you know, I need this right here. You know, you don't need all of that. You good, you, you making plenty of money. I need, I need for you to help me out right now. You know, I need for you to help me out. I need, you know, I need for you to watch out for me. You know, like I watched out for you. We supposed to be down. Don't try to get all brand new now since you, you know, since you, you doing a little something, you got a little degree, you got a new job, you got a new house, you got a new car. Don't act funny now. They manipulate you for their own gratification to meet their need. That's what me gratification. I need something. I need, I need something for me. Leeches can do, can do and will do hurtful things in an attempt to control you. Y'all, come on now. I, I'm just, I'm talking about me because I've been a leech before. I've been a leech before. I'm not talking about something that I've just, I've been a leech before. So we leeches do harmful, hurtful things in attempt to control you. Leeches lack the ability to truly love a person because they don't love themselves. You can, and I said at the beginning, you can't love someone effectively if you don't first love yourself. And when you are a leech, if you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. Your love is superficial. Your love is based on what can I, me getting my needs being met. So, you know, we're talking about how, are you a, how to know if you are a lover or a leech. Because we've all been a leech in, in some capacity. It may not, you may not meet all this criteria, but with someone in your relationship, either with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your a friend, a colleague, we've been leeches. We've been those leeches. I can't write about something that I've never lived. I was a leech before. I didn't know I was a leech because I, you know, I didn't know I was a leech. And I share that. Most of the time, most people that are leeches, they don't know. They don't recognize that they're leeches. And leeches are parasite. They suck the life out of you. They take from you. They take nourishment from you. 
But lovers are people they impart into you. They're adding. See, the difference in a lover and a leech is this. Lovers are always adding to your life. That's what people that love, love is action. It does something. And the does that it does, <laughs> the does that it does, it's a positive does. It's adding to your life. Leeches subtract from you. They take away from your essence. They take away from your being. They take away from your value. Because you can't give some somebody something that you don't possess. If you don't love you, if you don't love yourself, you can't love someone else. So you become automatically a leech. You come, you become automatically a leech. because remember now we created to be for self survival. Self survival. If I can see, if I can manipulate, kids manipulate, babies manipulate. We shape born and sin and shape the iniquity. It's normal. So if you but you have to recognize it that you have you have leech that you have a leech mentality so that you be so that you can transform into a love mentality. Not a give me, give me, give me, but let me see if I can give you, give you, give you. How can what can I do to make your life better? What can I do to make your life better? What can I do to make your life better? How do you know if you're a lover or a leech? Now, I've been talking today, and I'm going to be talking. My time is almost up. I got to go do my broadcast, you guys, for the radio. Remember, every Saturday from 1, 15, from 1 to 1.15, WFAMAM.com, you can go on radio and listen to us. Or 10.50 AM, Let's Talk Solution with Dr. Ron Garnett, my co-host. But I'm talking from my book this month. Ladies.